Good morning, my family in Christ, and welcome to another morning devotion. Middle of the week, hum day. A day we encourage believers to become intercessors while giving thanks to God for those of us who are spending time in prayer intentional on behalf of people and things, watching God work, showing His glory in this earth. We are grateful. And we're thankful to the Lord. And we declare Psalm 136, verse 1. And it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. The word of God to the people of God. This psalm calls us to have an attitude of gratitude unto God because he is Elohim, self-existent one. He is good. No one is greater. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. His mercy endureth forever. Not only he's the self-existent one, but he responds in goodness towards us. And in the midst of all the vicissitudes of life, his mercies endureth forever. Think for a moment that these attributes were not true. And the psalmist just wrote these as mere words. If this was so, we would never know because we will not be here, but for his mercies, we are not consoled. And I want us to meditate on Matthew 26, starting at verse 52 to 56, to see Elohim in action through Jesus the Christ, right before he was arrested. See his goodness and mercies enduring through the pending suffering so we can give thanks today with understanding. And Matthew wrote, Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the Scriptures be fulfilled, that thus this must be? In that same hour Jesus said to the multitudes, are ye come out as against a thief with swords and stars to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and ye lay not hand on me. But this was done, and the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. The word of God to the people of God. We're giving thanks today for his mercy that endures. We're giving thanks today that he came for a purpose and remained focused to the very end. And today we are better off. Yes. We have salvation because of the mercies of God. Let's give thanks today. Let's give praise as we intercede in prayer. Father, thank you for your word and for understanding. Your mercy endured forever. You could have called 10,000 angels to destroy us. Set your son free. But he endured. Thank you, Lord. His mercies are still enduring. 
grace is still sufficient. For that we are grateful. So as we intercede today, we give thanks. We praise you. We magnify you. We declare how great is our God. You've kept us. You're still keeping us. For that we are grateful. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The families everywhere. Thank you for invading our homes again with prayer and the word. Discipline, obedience, touch parents today. And we'll restore love and order. We restore your word in our homes today. We thank you for leaders everywhere, including our Prime Minister, all of Parliament and their families. We commend them to you today. May they be grateful for your enduring love towards us. We give you thanks. We magnify you today as believers. We herald you. We pray for those who are in bereavement today. Touch. Heal those who are not well physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever the case. We commend to you, knowing that you are the great physician. You're the one who does all things well. You are good. And your mercy endureth forever. For this we give you thanks and praise and adoration. Those who are child, we pray your divine love and protection, guidance and direction. We give you honor in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. God bless you today as we seek to please God and give thanks. For his mercy endured forever. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. 